Hello guys, my name is Colin, and I will be um, discussing the nasty little error that happens with the PlayStation 2 emulator that usually uh, refers to um, your uh, visual runtimes, and it usually says this application has requested the runtime to terminate it in an unusual way. Please contact the application support team for more information. Other times, it, it uh, brings up this error code 0xc000007b and um, some uh, small restarts on that indicates that it means sometimes um, the 32-bit version is trying to connect to 30 or 64-bit files and it doesn't work that way but um, this error code also means can mean other things other than that but uh, after a while I couldn't fix it myself and I had to do some digging and actually discover the fix randomly and while all I did was I downloaded the redistributable from the PCSX2 website right here at the bottom of the page on downloads where it says PCSX2 1.21 Windows binary it says you will need the Visual Studio 2013 package for this version to work and I downloaded it and um, when you double click it it'll give you two op a couple of options repair or uninstall if it says repair and uninstall that means it's already installed but what I did just for the heck of it I hit repair and after that it worked flaw flawlessly and I would like to hope that this works for you guys as well I have not found any good videos on YouTube regarding a fix for this and some support forums have been horrendous and actually disrespectful for people asking about this um, so I thought I'd just throw this out there hopefully it will fix it for you guys um, I have a lot of uh, the C++ redistributables on my computer that date back all the way to 05 so I'd, I'd recommend you guys have at least this year and last year's distributables but uh, if you do this and it does not work I would recommend installing all known versions um, of the distributables but only install them as they came out like the 2005 version install that first and then 2008, 2010, 2012, 13 um, and hopefully this would work for you guys it worked for me and I'd really love for it to work for you guys because nobody else has been able to provide good help with this stuff but and if this really doesn't work I would recommend going to the the PCSX2 forums or if if they're tr no help maybe go to the Windows 7 forums or the Windows 8 forums depending on which OS you're on I'll leave links in the description but um, hopefully this will help also I will um, be posting some tutorials slash um, just informational videos on more or less some really good settings for your uh, emulators and how to set up um, the PS3 controller for the emulators because uh, in the past I used to use Motion Joy and that was really causing issues and um, I had to have help to fix that to uninstall Motion Joy because it's basically malware but uh, I will make a video on how to properly set up the controller and in the video I'll, as a bonus I will include how to remove um, uh, Motion Joy if it's still on your computers but uh, yeah that's it for now and um, I will talk to you guys later